The date, February 26, 2023. The location, Updike Road in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Amtrak 350 is about to make its normal afternoon appearance at Updike Road. But as you're about to see, everything normal ends here. In the second locomotive position is CDTX 2007, an EMD F59 PHI in the Amtrak California livery. Obviously, this was going to become a chase, but red traffic lights plagued our journey to Pontiac, so no chance of beating him to the station. Also on the hunt today with me were two friends of mine, Lake State Rail Fan and Train Talk Productions. We pulled in as 350 was unloading its passengers. As I walked up to the 2007, I was stunned to hear this. I thought it was going to run dead in tow, but I guess more horsepower is better than less. Looking at the 2007's builder plate, it was built in Progress Rail's Tacoma, Washington facility in November of 1994, but was remanufactured to meet new EPA standards in October 2013, which explains the large repower sticker on the side of the engine. Speaking of which, this streamlined beast is powered by a 12-cylinder turbocharged EMD 710G3A prime mover capable of 3,000 horsepower. As covered in my Pontiac Power Swap video, the crew had to reverse the train into the house track siding. Today's consist on 350 is made up of four venture cars, an Amfleet Cafe car, the CDTX 2007, and IEDTX SC44 Charger number 4632. This is when things started falling apart. I heard the engineer over the scanner calling the mechanical department, saying the second unit, the 2007, would not load properly. After a quick reset of the circuit breaker, however, the problem was fixed. About 20 minutes after arriving, the power proceeded to the portion of the house track where the locomotives are kept. I know everyone's been thinking, why is an Amtrak California F-59 PHI in Michigan? Well, it's a long and technical story, and I still don't fully understand it myself, but from what I have been told by Amtrak crews is that the 2007 is fitted with a shunt-enhancing device. This device is being used by Amtrak to reduce the axle count required by Canadian National. A shunt-enhancing device enhances the electrical shunts between rails when a train activates a railroad crossing. For a full explanation on a rail shunt is, Google has a good answer. Just look up electric rail shunt definition. Then I noticed this massive canopy being built over the Pontiac station's parking lot. Cool. Before I left, I had to get one more video of that amazing 710 engine idle. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when we upload next. In Pontiac, Michigan, this is Michigan Railfan Films signing off.